What is it, my friends? So, Rise of Skywalker. We are here. The premiere. The leaks. It's all true. All of it. My friends, the leaks that we were talking about for weeks leading into this movie turned out to be true. And they are insane. And they are not as good as we thought the movie was going to be. But what's more insane is the leaks were out there for weeks. It doesn't even feel like a Star Wars movie when leaks are just out there, right? I mean, this is one of the biggest movies of the year. And we've known about these leaks for weeks before the movie even got released. Now, leaks that were good, leaks that were insane and amazing, that's one thing. But leaks that everybody was just pissed off about, that's something else where you're just wondering how. How did this even happen to Disney? Disney's always on top of these things. They are always so secretive, so good at keeping security tight lit at these places. But yet, we have a fucking picture of the last 10 seconds of the film right on Twitter. Like, not even a day after the premiere. What the hell happened? But enough about that. Let's just talk about this ending. Now, I haven't seen this movie in theaters myself, but I mean, we pretty much all seen it, right? Because we've been seeing leaks, we've been reading spoilers, and it's just everywhere. So I'm going to make a video where I talk about the ending after I see the movie as well. But for now, let's just talk about the ending and what it possibly means, because you've probably already seen the leaks. So, Rey is a gray Jedi? I, I don't know if you want to call it that or what, but she is holding a sort of gray, black Jedi um, lightsaber that is now has a yellow tint to it um, I would post a picture but I don't think that Disney would be too fond of that even though they themselves have dropped the ball and let all these pictures leak out but yes there is a yellow lightsaber with a grayish black um, handle to it uh, we do see Luke and Leia's ghosts at the end their force ghosts we learn that Leia is a Jedi as well that was trained by Luke. Anakin is back in his voice only. Uh, Mace Windu, Yoda, we hear all of them. There is some Raylo action as well, which is something that many people didn't believe was going to happen, but it's there. Uh, Snoke, he was a clone of Palpatine. Uh, Palpatine dies after he tells Rey as well that he is his, her grandfather and she herself can become Empress Palpatine. And yet, we're here. We're here at the end where Ray says, I am Ray Skywalker. The end. What the hell's happening here? Well, let's just explain what happened. So, they were out to find the Wayfinder. After Kylo finds it, he finds from Emperor Palpatine that he has been, been the voice that's been inside of Kylo for all this time. And then Ray finds Palpatine as well. Palpatine explains, you're my granddaughter. You're going to continue on, and that's how we're going to handle things. And then they get into a fight, and then we see Rey get killed after she deflects the uh, lightning from Palpatine. Kylo gives his life using a force power, and after using that force power, they have a kiss, because you got to get some Raylo fan service in there, and he gives his life to her. And then we see that Palpatine is now dead, Ray decides to go bury the lightsaber of Luke and Leia back in Tatooine. And then when she is asked who she is, she says, Ray Skywalker, because this is the rise of Skywalker. And I'm left to believe we don't have any more Jedis. We are now Skywalkers. Finn is hinted to be force sensitive by the end of the film. And everybody else is left to whatever. And as I said, Leia dies. Um, her last word is Ben, as I said, and that's the end of the movie. I don't know what to explain here because all that there is to explain is Ray was Emperor Palpatine's granddaughter. She didn't want to go to the dark side. She basically kills him. She then becomes a gray Jedi because she has a gray black handle on her lightsaber with a yellow tint. We have Anakin Skywalker returning in voice Oni. We don't get to see him. And then we have Kylo dying for Rey because he's been in love with her apparently. And that's the that's it. There's no Skywalkers like blood Skywalkers left. There is a 
descendant of Palpatine who becomes a Skywalker, thus the rise of Skywalker. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to say about this ending. I haven't seen the movie. I'll be seeing it this weekend. But I just want to talk about that ending and exactly how we can even wrap our heads around that. So once I see the movie, I'll make a video talking about if I feel it works after seeing it or if it just sounded crazy as I'm reading it and seeing the leaked photos, leaked footage, all of that. But if you want to see all that, just go on Reddit or go on Twitter. I'm sure you can find it. There's no way to escape it because it's just everywhere. Let me know your thoughts. If you have seen it, are you going to see it? And what do you think of the Star Wars franchise? Dead, alive, can happen. Let me know. Anyways, as always, haven't already subscribed to the channel. What are you waiting for? 10,000 subscribers. Let's get to it. We are about two, three weeks away from the end of the year. Hopefully, we can get close to that goal. I'll see you all next time. Stay positive, my friends.